If you'd like to close your eyes and make yourself comfortable in whichever position makes you feel most relaxed. Throughout the session you'll hear different noises both from inside the room and the world outside. But just relax and feel free to move. Let your mind drift off to wherever it wants to go. And there's no right or wrong way to do this. So you don't need to worry about anything. Just relax and feel comfortable. And as you lie yourself back, you can settle down and begin to relax. Just make yourself nice and comfortable. You can notice the weight of your head there resting on the pillow. And you can be aware of your head relaxing on the pillows. Knowing that those pillows will fully support the full weight of your head. So you don't have to hold any stress or tension in your shoulders or neck. You can just let your head rest back, nice and relaxed and let go. And you can relax your shoulders too, because you know that the couch will fully support you. It can take your full weight, your full height, every muscle and every fibre of your being as you relax back into the couch, fully supported. Because now is the time for you to do nothing. You don't have to be anywhere. You don't have to do anything. You can just lie back and relax. And your mind can drift and dream as you hear all the sounds around you. The sounds outside. None of these things need distract or disturb you as they comfortably remind you that the world is still safely turning. And you can allow yourself a moment just to rest back, relax and let go. You can let go of any tension in your stomach or across your shoulders. Ease off the muscles in your back and down your spine and all along the muscles in your legs. Down through your ankles and all the way to your feet, your toes, even your arms. Every finger just loosening and relaxing, perfectly at ease. Drifting and dreaming with your thoughts as you pay attention to your breathing. That gentle rise and fall that happens all by itself. And with every breath you take and with every word I speak, you can just let go. And now you're resting comfortably there, listening to the sound of my voice here. With your eyes closed comfortably, you can be aware of your eyes and how you are in control and how you could open them should you wish. And that's fine because I really wouldn't want you to go into hypnosis too quickly. I prefer that you discover now how much easier it is to simply allow events to occur in their own time and in their own way. And as you allow that feeling to continue in a shoulder, a leg, a hand, as you continue to listen to the sound of my voice, the sounds that surround you, the ticking clock perhaps or the distant murmur of traffic, paying close attention now to those feelings, those changes as they occur, as you wonder at your own ability to let go completely and drift into a trance. While your conscious mind has already begun to drift off somewhere else, allowing the body to relax and the mind to relax, without knowing at all how much more comfortable and relaxed you can become. And I wonder if you can remember now experiences of drifting off while sitting comfortably watching television, so engrossed in the storyline, listening to the voices as your eyes closed to rest quietly for a moment in time, hearing the music, or the words spoken, 
in that quiet and relaxed way. When a word or a sound brings to mind a particular memory, and you drift into that memory, dream away for a time, come back to the words again, until the words and the music become a soothing murmur, a relaxing sound, heard only in the background of the mind, like a conversation overheard, a peaceful and quiet time. And the subconscious part of your mind continues to hear all that is important to you, whilst your conscious mind drifts off to another place, without really noticing that there is no need for you to make the effort to try, to hear, or to understand everything that is said or not said here. As you rest so quietly there, you really have known all along how much easier it is to learn when you are so relaxed. And though I wouldn't want you to relax too quickly at first, I'd prefer that you discover now how much easier it is to recognise the small changes, tiny changes, almost imperceptible changes happening in your breathing, and in your pulse, how quiet and comfortable you've become as that feeling of security relaxes you even deeper than before. Your unconscious may choose to relax just one of your fingers before it continues to relax one of your thumbs, or perhaps it will discover that your wrist will be a handier place to begin relaxing but the conscious of your mind can enjoy being curious about exactly where those feelings will begin. And now, please imagine a stone being skipped across the clear, calm surface of a pond. The stone skips once, twice, three times and more. Each time the interval shorter as it loses momentum slowing down more and more. As it strikes the surface, the peace and tranquility is disturbed. The water flows in ripples that spread in perfect rings. But then the stone can skip no more. All momentum is dissipated, its power lost. And so it slips quietly down beneath the surface gently floating down past the creatures that live here drifting down gently quietly past the water plants and nothing is disturbed as it finally comes to rest there still now on the bottom of the tranquil pool and on the surface even the ripples become quieter as they spread in ever-increasing circles to disappear entirely as the surface becomes calm again. And you can take the opportunity to quietly reflect upon those problems as you recognise now that ability that is yours to relax, to let go of tension, anxiety. Aware now of your ability to see things in a different way and to accept those things that seem to be one thing and then turned out to be something else entirely. And then the difficulty and ease that can be your experience, telling the difference between souls and souls, sun and sun, bear and bear, changing old beliefs, recognising new capabilities and capacities, learning new ways of doing things. And I wonder now if you can allow these feelings to continue, the same or to deepen even more now, as you try to remember all the things I've said here, about the pool there, the television, the stone that drifted down slowly, 
And even as you drift off with your own thoughts and enjoy allowing that pleasant and comfortable experience of heaviness of arms, of legs, to continue there now as I continue to talk to you. Each word that I speak, relaxing you deeper still. It's just like setting out on a journey, knowing that you've prepared well. Everything is packed. Passports and tickets are in a safe place. All arrangements have been attended to. Knowing that you can and you will complete your journey easily and without effort. You have all the ability and the capability to do what you want. To make new and good things happen. And you tell yourself now, I can, I will and you feel at ease. Comfortable with yourself. What has happened in the past has happened. And from these events you've learnt so much. Experiences that will help you to know what is right for you. So that you can relax. And you can let go of all negative feelings and emotions. Turning things around now. And seeing the positive in everything. For you, the glass is always half full as you refuse to accept that you've been guilty of failure. Recognising with clarity that what you did was to your very best and no one can act more than that. Negative thoughts and emotions have no place at all in your life. They hold you back. They prevent you from being that person that you wish to be and that you really can be. With every day you've learnt more through experience. The best and the most effective way that learning can be. You are the product of all your experiences. All of those events that occurred way back then. You are better for your experiences as you continue to learn more each day about that wonderful ability that you do have to use all learnings in a positive and forward-looking way that tells you inside your own perfect inner mind I can and I will. You now look back to those events of childhood and growing up which have shaped you and made you the person you are. You take pride now in yourself as you recognise with ever increasing clarity of thought that you can be selective in those memories that you choose to keep, to place value upon. For is it not true that everything has a value? And for you, that is the value that you and you alone attribute to it. Those things, those experiences that have no value to you, you reject them now in their entirety. You cast them away as they are over and done with. As you take control of your life, your emotions, things begin to happen the way you want them to happen. Your clarity of thought and your ever increasing maturity ensure that you have all you need. An attitude of mind that is positive and forward looking. As you move forward with your new attitudes, new confidence in your own ability, others around you will notice you and recognise that they can draw from you that strength that comes from the knowledge that you can be relied upon to act in a positive manner that overcomes difficulties, in a calm and ordered manner. And you begin to enjoy being valued your contribution to all situations, your opinion sought as you grow and mature into that person that you want to be. You have all you need to be successful and you can be more relaxed and more comfortable in all situations. Positive thinking can become a habit for you, for habits are created through repetition. 
The more you employ your positive attitudes of mind, the stronger that habit will grow. You practice being positive and confident, and the strangest thing happens. As you act positively and confidently, then you are seen to be positive, confident, and it's as easy as that. Yours is that ability to choose how you wish to see. With maturity and great pride in knowing that you are no longer that person caught in the trap of negative thinking. Measuring all things in the light of what might go wrong. For you there is no failure. For you it does not exist as you recognise that the only measure that you need is that of your own success. Each grain of success is the foundation upon which all success is built. And this success is now your way, now and in the future. As you recognise that fear is just the concern that you might lose control. And that is not true at all. For to lose control, first you must have control. And you choose not to lose the ability that you know is yours to make things happen your way. I can, I will. These words now become an integral part of you. Part of that internal harmony and peace of spirit that is now yours as you choose to take it. And you will take it, will you not? It can be so pleasant to walk beside a river and watch it flowing along effortlessly. You don't need to push along a river. A river can get there on its own, so effortlessly. And it can find its way, and you can find your way, without even trying. The river winds its way around rocks and obstacles, and there may be rocks and there may be difficulties but it does find a way and it finds the right way for it to overcome difficulties and problems and it's nice to know that you can also overcome those problems and difficulties just like the river and how reassuring to be aware that you will find the right way to achieve the right outcome for those particular problems and difficulties that is just right for you. And how comforting it is to know that you have the same strength and flexibility as the river to find the right way around those rocks and obstacles. Those particular rocks and obstacles. So now as this session comes to an end, you feel completely relaxed, full of strength and positive energy.